Next, how about I take you on a walk? It's nearly time! Let's get ourselves over to the new Otpala Cup qualifiers. They're about to kick off. El Hingen's giving an opening speech. Ladies and gentlemen, the Niluth Pala Cup Beast Tamers Tournament is about to begin. I genuinely hope that everyone has fun in the competition and wish you all the very best of luck. At the same time, I ask that you bear in mind that this tournament is held in the spirit of friendly and fair competition. By all means, give everything you've got, but respect your opponents at the same time. Don't lose your head. This is just a sport, not a fight to the death. <laughs> I have spent a considerable amount of time in my life searching for a way for humans and dangerous creatures to coexist. The wisdom orbs you now hold in your hands show me that it is indeed possible. I sincerely hope that this event will show the potential of beast taming to a wider audience. People need a way to avoid conflict and stay safe in the wild. And beast taming can help us achieve this. Oh, so that's why Elhingen is putting his whole fortune into this. What an inspiring goal. But Kaltilia, on the other hand... Thank you for your speech, Mr. Elhingen. I'd like to add a few words of my own, if I may. Welcome, Beast Tamers! The wisdom orbs in your hands are a truly groundbreaking invention, representing the culmination of centuries of technological innovation at the Academia. Actually, there are nine extraordinary technical breakthroughs that make them so exciting. Cautilia, everyone's eager to try them out for themselves. There's no need to delve into all the details right now. Uh, oh, uh, of course. Well, I'll explain everything to you all when I get the chance. I'm sure you'll get a sense of just how advanced this technology is when you start using it in the arena. Trust your wisdom orbs and have fun in the competition. What a total nerd! Doesn't he know there's a time and place to talk, Cat? Good thing El Hingen has enough situational awareness for the both of them. Otherwise, this could have dragged on for a long time. Ooh, the qualifiers have officially started! It's time to face our first opponent! Now they put the bar for entry so low. Let's go! This is gonna be over so fast. Don't blink or you'll miss it. Don't be nervous, Bongo Head. It's only the qualifiers. These are teeny tiny potatoes. Just think of them as stepping stones.
It's okay. We still got this. Great job, Bungohead! And everyone else, too! But how? How can my swift fighting style fail? Everyone, retreat now! This fungi fighting is unlike anything else we've ever done before, and it's super fun! That beast hammer and her fungi work together pretty well, almost as well as the two of us! That's why it's so important to develop close connections with your teammates. Miko and Layla! How's it going for you so far? Turly Whirly and the other Shroom Buddies were way stronger than I thought. Before I knew it, they'd knocked the opposition out. When I got back to the arena, I saw Miss Yai's opponent running away like they'd just seen a ghost. Miss Yai said she needed to find you and discuss something, so I came with her. Little Layla here breezed through her first battle. Soka won hers by a hair's breadth, but mine was rather disappointing. My opponent was a frightful bore. Well, it's only just started after all. It'd be a bit of a crazy tournament if everyone in the qualifiers was a prize fighter. But anyway... What was it you wanted to discuss with us? You're getting smarter, aren't you, Paimon? I thought you'd need me to remind you, but no, you said it yourself. Our opponents will only get stronger as the tournament proceeds, so we mustn't let our guard down. Why don't we keep up the momentum from our respective first-round victories? Let's give our fungi some special training to strengthen our bonds with them. Great idea! Stay one step ahead of the game! All right! Guess it's Shroom Buddy's special training o'clock! Let's get to it! The view here is wonderful. It smells of the rainforest here, and we're far enough away that no one will bother us. Let's have some fun with our fungi friends, then take a break to sample some of Sumeru's delectable snacks. Yay! Snack time, snack time! Wait a second, aren't we here for training though? Or did you put something in the snacks that'll improve our bonds with our fungi? Even if I had that kind of power, I wouldn't dream of abusing it. I assure you, the dried fruits and pastries I brought are quite ordinary. Perhaps you thought I'd planned an intensive training session for you? <laughs> that won't be necessary. On the contrary, when you're constantly on edge, you miss quite a lot of important things. Since the goal here is to bond with our fungi, we should treat them as friends and create happy memories with them. Eating and having fun together are vital components of friendship training. Imagine if all the Traveler ever thought about was making you stronger, forcing you to build rock-hard muscles just to watch you send Mitotrolls flying. Would you gladly comply? Why are you looking at Paimon like that? Oh, don't you dare try anything like that! Or Paimon will... Paimon will ignore you for three days! No, five days! See? You and he have a very strong bond, but that doesn't mean you'd be happy for him to inflict a rigorous physical training regimen on you. Do you really think the fungi would be any more receptive when they've only just met you? Huh. Well, when you put it like that... Miss Yai is right. Also, I'm curious to see what would happen if the Wisdom Orb is turned off or malfunctions. 
I wonder if the fungi will stay tamed or not. Yeah, it takes time for friends to get to know each other properly and come to trust each other. I can't always rely on this gizmo to communicate with Twirly Whirly. It makes me feel like I'm giving orders. Ah, yes. True love cannot be controlled by external forces. Little Layla's belief is a classic one. But that would mean giving up control over the fungi. Uh, is that really a good idea? Go ahead and give it a try, little Layla. Don't worry, the little ones and I will be here to keep you safe. Okay, is everyone ready? I'm... I'm gonna do it. Look at that! Now that it's turned off, Twirly Whirly's moving around on its own again. But it's not attacking people nearby like it did before! Perhaps the Wisdom Orb's technology doesn't allow people to control the fungi at all. Maybe it simply adjusts the fungi's temperaments, calming them down so that they're capable of forming connections with people. If this theory is correct, little Layla's wish may yet come true. Once you've gotten to know each other, you'll be able to freely communicate without using the Wisdom Orb. Miku's right! Forget fancy schmancy technology, the real breakthrough here is the power of friendship! I'll do my best. I want to learn all about Twirly Whirly's likes and dislikes, then buy lots of snacks from the almighty merchant. Paima wants to get to know the real bongo head, too. Let's try deactivating our wisdom orb, shall we? Traveler, Paimon, Miss Yai, do you and your shrimp buddies want to join us? I think Twirly wants to play in the water over there. You'd better be careful. Don't get too close to Blitzaro when you're knee-deep in the water, or you might find yourself on the receiving end of a very unique lower leg massage. <laughs> right, Paimon almost forgot! Should we let Bongo Head try something different? We could climb a tree together and see the view from the top. You two go ahead. We want Bongo Head to try something different since it's probably used to playing near water. Oh, okay. Meet you back here later then. Hope you have a good time. Bongo Head, we can do whatever you want to do. Just let us know. Paimon will probably understand you. Uh, why isn't it responding? Hmm, guess Paimon will have to try using delicious treats to win its affection. Help! Help me! Something's not right! Why are these fungi so aggressive? Did you hear that? It sounds like someone's calling for help! Hurry! Let's go check it out! What are you doing here? Hania? You saved the children? I happened to be nearby. The children were mimicking what they'd seen the contestants doing and ended up getting surrounded by wild fungi. Fortunately, I heard the commotion and got here in time to save them. That's so dangerous! Why are they trying to approach wild fungi without a wisdom orb? It's hardly their fault. I was almost drawn in by the fungi's cute appearance once, too. Luckily, I remembered my family's stern warnings and the suffering that previous generations once endured, so I kept my distance. 
People never used to be under any illusion about how dangerous the fungi can be. But this Neelit polycup is changing people's perceptions, and now they're letting their guard down against the fungi. A consequence that Elhingen failed to foresee. I'm putting an end to this debacle, first chance I get. The Wisdom Orb is the perfect tool for exterminating fungi on a large scale. And once I win the tournament, they'll be mine to do with as I please. What are you talking about, Hania? Exterminating fungi? Not in front of Pyro One! Don't you care about its feelings? You're taking part in the tournament too, aren't you? You even taught us a few tips and tricks. You're clearly enjoying the event. I'm quite certain Pyro One would back me up if it was capable of realizing the past mistakes of its kind. But regrettably, it's just a pawn controlled by a gadget. It will never understand human sentiments. As for why I taught you guys a few things, don't you realize? I saw your potential, and I wanted you to help me reach my goals. Yet here you are now, pleading the fungi's case. You've gotten too deep in this absurd game. Looks like Golden Comet and Silver Companion don't deserve such a stellar reputation after all. Just now, and we were playing with the fungi and everything! Oh my, such a standout personality, and with the perfect dose of obstinacy. I sense dramatic events just waiting to unfold. Miko? Layla? Oh, you heard the cries for help too, huh? We were just talking about her as it happens. Little Layla told me that Hania gave you some guidance when you first entered the tournament, but after you met Layla, she very abruptly left. Looking at it now, she seems to be a classic case of a wrong path character, blames the many for the mistakes of a few, and seeks to wipe them all out of existence. She takes the wrong path because in her eyes, it is the most effective and sensible method of achieving her goal. Fungi can definitely be aggressive and damage their environment, but some research also suggests that they're only acting in accordance with their nature, just like any other wild animals. The fungi have existed for a long time. No one knows what the ecological implications for the rainforest would be if they all got killed off suddenly. Right! We shouldn't resort to extreme measures! No matter what Ania has been through, we can't let her do this just because she wants to! You intend to stop her achieving victory? I can't say I didn't expect that response from you. But I hear she's one of the favorites to win this tournament. Are you prepared to face such a formidable opponent? That's what you brought us here for, right? To get acquainted with our fungi friends so we can cooperate better with them? Wait, did you know all this was going to happen? <laughs> it would be rather boring if I had arranged every last detail in advance. The chance encounter between you and Hania came as quite a pleasant surprise. Today's training ends here. The qualifiers should be over now. We should go and find out what to expect in the later stages. Over there. Are they looking for something? I heard that the organizer set up loads of message boards for the audience to leave comments and interact with each other. It sounds like a good way to encourage discussion about the tournament. I wonder if people will talk about me and Trilly Whirly. Oh, if only I could use this experience in one of my papers somehow. 
Paimon thinks that's a great idea. You always need a ton of information to write a paper, and you can't always get the info you need. But this time, you're the one providing yourself with the information. You can write whatever you want. That's a nice idea, Paimon. But I'm from the Ritawaha Starshan. The kind of information I'm gathering now would only be of any use to someone in the Amorta Darshan. Yeah! You can provide the information to Amorta students! Maybe sell it to the highest bidder! Wait, no! Royalties! Charge royalties! Mora is a secondary consideration, but I could make it a fair trade by getting the Amorta students to read through some advanced papers for me and figure out what Trolley Whirly's kind likes. If I can narrow the search, it'll make my life a whole lot easier. I won't have to buy hundreds of different things and get Trolley Whirly to try them all. Just thinking about it makes me want to pass out. Layla, that's an amazing idea! Please, get them to look into what Bongo Head likes, too! Uh, I'll do my best. When I get back, I'll write a letter and send it to the Amorta. Little one, the pairings for the remaining 32 are out. Huh? We'll be facing Sulka next. Oh, I've been looking forward to this a lot. What are you so excited about? Aren't you worried that we'll knock your budding author out of the competition? If that happens, Yai Publishing House's nice little journey in Sumeru will come to a very abrupt end. Oh, please. Do your worst. I never asked Soka to win in the first place. Besides, maybe suffering a humiliating defeat will give her the epiphany she so desperately needs. After all, a life with no obstacles tends to narrow the mind. People end up believing that only they are on the right path. Sometimes, obstacles are more valuable than smooth sailing. Excellent. Ah, I'm looking forward to the next round. I'll await your good news. Yeah. 